Alright, are you ready for some more Do Re Mi Fantasy? Yes, yeah, still barely understand the game, but let's play the next level. Should we? Okay, I'm starting to get a bit of slowdown. I'm gonna have to close off stuff. Okay, let's see if it's better now. Still slow down. Okay. Okay, I pretty much had to close off everything. Okay, that helped a little bit. I don't know why I'm getting slow down. Maybe because I have the priority on uh, Cam Studio set really high to prevent desync. Yes, I'm really sorry about it being so quiet. It's just that there's not really much I have to say. It's like the last level for a boss, because this is what it's seeming like. At least according to the overworld, that's what it looks like. Maybe not. More story we can't read. Yeah, I really gotta see if I can find some sort of translation or something online, but. And another level. Let's see what's here. It's a ghost house! Okay, not really. Oh, well, yeah, it may very well be called a ghost house in this game. No, I don't want you coming back. Very interesting sprite there. Pinocchio? That doesn't hurt. Pinocchio doesn't hurt you, but... Why that's there, I have no clue. Ah, Slasher Man, get rid of him! There's Saw Man! Another Slasher Man, get rid of him! No! I let him come back! They're coming back! We must run, we must hide! Can we break this? No. Yeah. Sorry that my commentary is really lacking, but thing is, I really only have two options for really talking here, and that would... Oh no, what did I just do? I made someone upset. No, this isn't good. Have mercy on my soul! Oh, that's all it did. Yeah. I really only have two options for commentary, which is one, talk completely off topic, or two, be completely random. And so far, it's pretty much been a combination of both. And what did I do this time? I don't know why, but ooh, a key! This little boy really is ripping off his The Legend of Zelda. Nah, plenty of games have keys. By that logic, Mario World is ripping off Legend of Zelda. Nah, really, it's more like the other way around if you've played a Super Nintendo Zelda. I'm not even joking. That's what makes it sad. You'd be surprised how many Mario enemies there are on that. And see, I'm getting off topic again because there's not really much to talk about.
except for these Pinocchios and birds and dangerous chainsaw men who hate me. And this is going to be a boss, isn't it? Well, maybe there's something more interesting to talk about. Or another level. A boss. At least I think it is. Pretty nice music here, but I'm not sure if it's really counts as boss. Uh, apparently this boss is easy. Apparently if you keep hitting it, it'll... Oh, I've seen bosses like this before. Ah, no, don't... Oh. That has got to be the second most easiest boss I have ever played in a video game. The only one that I have played so far that is easier than that is Iggy. But we all know how easy he is. And a reuse. Something about a magical flute that I have nothing about. Yeah, I really should probably watch these cuts as you know I don't really know. Give me maybe there's something that I can make up in the storyline. Hey, maybe this little boy is trying to write a song that would explain the instrument. One. Yeah, that's been really strange. Some of these words have been in English, but some of them in Japanese. It's like the mini name. Japanese people speak English or something? Well, anyway, let's go to the Land of Candy. This seems really safe, right? Nothing can hurt you in the Land of Candy. That must be the woman who runs the land of candy. I don't know. I don't know what's with the candy. Would you mind explaining it to me in English, please, since you like using English so much? And all the text that doesn't really help me. Like, minigame and one. Oh, he must run Little Junk Food Land. Maybe he's the boss or something. I don't not. I do not know. I cannot read a bit of this. Oh! <gasps> hey, wait a minute. That reminds me of. Oh, what's the? I think his name was Bomberman or something like that. That's. That reminds me of Bomberman. Um. Option one. I get this guy. What's option two? I get the white bomber man guy. Hold on. I'm going to save here, and I'm going to see what the advantage of each one is. So I obviously cannot read this. Okay. Or just, hey, he did drop a bomb. I think that just might be Bomberman. Well, that Bomberman does not hurt me. So, I will stick with that Bomberman. I think that really was. Because he dropped a bomb. I don't know. I don't know much about Bomberman. <gasps> it's a Kirby candle! Jeez, this game will be full of cameos. How much? How much longer till we see some plumbers, huh? Yeah, till we see Mario. Then I, I can probably comment on that a little better. Can you? Yeah, it's the land of candy. That definitely explain the Kirby candles. I doubt that's what they're called, but they remind me of Kirby. So I'm gonna call them Kirby candles. I have no clue what they're supposed to be, but they're pink and their face looks like Kirby. So they are Kirby candles. And that thing also looks like it's from Kirby. And those forks hurt me. Teeter totters on giant Kirby candles. It must be the Kirby candles, mommy. I don't know. It's just a bigger candle. I don't know. Cookies! It's a Yoshi cookie! No, not really. I'm really pretty much just saying anything I can say. Just get some commentary. There's... Not really much I can say, to be honest. It's a fun game, but 
I seriously don't know any Japanese. I have no clue what's going on. I don't even know if those two guys are even supposed to be Bomberman. I don't know. Especially considering I hardly play Bomberman. <gasps> no! Stay away from me, Kirby Candle! No, he's coming closer. Nah, he's not hard to dodge at all, but... You gotta have something more interesting to watch, right? I mean, not that the game's boring. It's just a... You have to have some commentary on something. Ah! Pumpkin head tossing man, we do not want you around here. We do not like pumpkins. No, Halloween is not fun. We like Christmas. This is a Christmas family in this house. We play. We are all jolly and stuff on Christmas. We don't go trick or treating. We open presents. Okay, this is supposed to be, I guess, the Fork Desert. Yay! Forks, how delightful. This honestly would have been a good place to stop, drop off, but... Oh, look! New gimmicks! Yeah, this probably would have been a good place to drop off. But, what do I know? Okay... Ooh, secret path. That gives me nothing but that. Apparently, you can slide down certain slopes. So you can slide down this milk slope. Sorry, I'm so used to hitting blocks from below because of Mario, obviously. Well, maybe that final boss that. Um, TLMB warned me about will not be a problem if it's as easy as that robot or it stays on the current difficulty curve then yeah the final level will be more of a worry than the final boss I'm starting to think maybe this game follows a similar pattern to Super Mario World you have relatively easy levels that are also quite easy to screw up if you're a moron like me. Then you have quite challenging castle levels. And then the easiest bosses ever. Cause I mean, about every last boss in Super Mario World is practically a joke. Bowser is a joke. If you've never fought him, well, chances are if you're what, well, if you've never fought him and you happen to be from Super Mario Cent World Central, then just cheat and warp there. I guarantee, you, if you've never played a Mario game in your life, you could probably beat him. That's how easy he is. Yeah, this is I guess Fork Canyon and knives. No, no, knives are sharp and painful. Yeah, this probably would have been a good place to cut off since anything longer than like five minutes is probably already like about ten by now I'm not sure but anything like really longer than five minutes I don't know maybe setting games for you to a higher priority would help but which I did but yeah after about like five minutes if you've noticed on my other let's plays Probably not, it's not as noticeable as the first episode of this Let's Play, but in the contest entries, it, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but since I recorded it, it is quite easy for me to see that, okay, that was rigged, that was rigged, that thing came out of nowhere, I couldn't even dodge it the second time, but, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Um, it may not be easy for you to spot that decent, but it is for me. Since I recorded it, so I know what's supposed to happen when. But yeah, it wasn't as obvious in the first episode of this because the sound of the game was really quiet for some reason. I turned the volume up, so hopefully it's more hearable here because the music in this game is actually quite good. Which Honestly, is one of the strange things about obscure games. Why do they always have just wonderful, wonderful music? 
I mean, it makes you wonder how were games like this not more... Well, I mean, this game might have very well been popular in Japan. I do not know, considering I do not speak Japanese and never been to Japan in my life. But for some reason, there's obscure games, and all these obscure games are just beautiful. Especially for the Super Nintendo, they have just absolutely breathtaking music and everything. I mean, this isn't quite, like, breathtaking, but you'd be surprised the kind of stuff I've heard. It's just amazing. It certainly does fit, but... Yeah. I like this music. But yeah, it makes you wonder why these games are not more popular. Yeah, I'm really going to have to start putting a limit on these. Uh, yeah, and unless there's still a star there, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm going to start making these episodes shorter to prevent desync. Well, this is... Well, I'm going to save so I can come back to this on another day. This is Dark Bones. Signing out. See ya.